Yeah, at KTNUSK, that's on Twitter. Let's keep this interactive. Kenya's faith keep you going this morning delivered Kenya's first gold at the World Athletics Championship. The 28-year-old dominated the race from start to finish, a clocking winning time of 3 minutes 52.96 seconds. Now, Gadav Asege of Ethiopia claimed silver in 3 minutes 54.52 seconds with Britain's Laura Mar taking bronze at 3 minutes 55. 5.28 seconds. Kipiagon, who previously won world gold over the distance in 2017, along with two silvers, and who picked up a world silver in 2019, a year after a baby came to Eugene on the back of posting the year's fastest time on the same yard field track in May. She almost matched it on Monday, as any thoughts of the sort of tactical race often seen in finals disappeared on the back of a 50. 5.1 seconds opening lap. Really happy. Um, I've won this race here in Oregon. And it was really my target to win. Uh, I knew I was the best. I knew I, I had the Wally. And I was really looking forward uh, to defend my title from 2017. And um, yeah. Have a flag of Kenya. <laughs> Looking at how the race it was, it wasn't easy because we saw the Ethiopians had a strategy to uh, make it faster, but you followed up with them. Uh, Mo was there, it was a deep field. Uh, probably analyze for us that was towards the finish line. Ooh, to say the truth, it was not easy. Uh, Ethiopians were three in the race uh, and all were training mates and I knew they were planning something special. But for me, um, I wasn't prepared. To say the truth, I really thank my coach, I thank my management, I thank my husband, my daughter as well, for the support they have really uh, supported me all through since I started the season. And I knew I was strong and um, yeah, I knew if the coach record was going to be uh, to go here, I was the one to, to, to know it. So I'm so grateful. To reclaim your title from 2017, you know, you missed it in 2019 in Doha, uh, but now you reclaimed your title. Was there pressure back at home, <laughs> everywhere? Yeah, <laughs> to say the truth, um, I had pressure because um, everybody wa I was expecting really a uh, special thing from me. Uh, everybody was like, faith, we have faith, uh, we believe in faith. So I had pressure. I was really running with them. Um, with a lot of pressure, but I thank God I've won and I've shown that I'm real, I'm strong and um, yeah, I thank yeah. God. It was quite a fast race, uh, blistering stuff there, um, but eventually caught up. So four of you killed away quite early. Eventually you hung in there, you stuck at the back, you got the title. Um, in Doha you didn't win the title. Uh, you were just returning from maternity. How important does how important is this to you? And now you are the most successful 1,500 meter runner in this championship. Um, to say the truth, I knew uh, this race was going to be fast because uh, good as a guy doesn't know how to run at the back, so she's a front runner. So I knew she was going to push the race so that she got the medal because if she goes if she goes slowly, she can she can kick at the end. But uh, I really thank her that she 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 went in front and. Uh, the three of us went like that, and the medal were already one, two, three. And I, I really thank God I managed to, to produce the medal for them. Hey, you have so much uh, fans back at home. Are you really watching and following up for you? What message do you have to Kenyans back at home? Yeah, I want to tell them thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you for the support. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, Thank you for be believing in me every time I go to race. They normally cheer for me, and they believe in me. Thank you so much. At the Olympics? Such a big day for Kenya and all the best congratulations to Team Kenya. In other news, President Uhuru Kenyatta and his officials 